Abend. Let's begin with prayer. Lass uns mit Gebet anfangen. Dear Father in heaven, Lieber Vater im Himmel, Lord, we thank you for another opportunity to learn of you. Herr, wir danken dir für eine weitere Möglichkeit von dir zu lernen. Help uh, that this again would become a personal message. Hilf, dass das wieder eine persönliche Botschaft werden kann. That we would um, compare ourselves with your word. Dass wir uns mit deinem Wort vergleichen. And that we can behold the pattern. Dass wir das Muster anschauen können. And that we can realize where we do not fit yet the pattern as we should. Dass wir erkennen können, wo wir noch nicht äh, wie das Muster sind, wie wir eigentlich sein sollten. Help us, Lord, to believe your word. Hilf uns, Herr, dein Wort zu glauben. And help us uh, to, uh, to especially submit to your word. Und hilf uns, insbesondere dein, uns deinem Wort zu unterwerfen. So please uh, bless us this evening. Bitte segne uns heute Abend. And uh, strengthen us for what is uh, coming upon us very soon. Und stärke uns für das, was sehr bald auf uns kommen wird. And we ask and pray all this in Jesus' name. Und wir bitten und beten all dies in Jesu Namen. Amen. Amen. Okay, so <coughs> yesterday we looked at the Sermon on the Mount. Gestern haben wir uns die Bergpredigt angeschaut. And if we turn again in the Bibles to Matthew chapter 5. Und wenn wir in unseren Bibeln wieder zu Matthäus 5 gehen. We read these Beatitudes. Da haben wir diese Seligpreisungen gelesen. And uh, Christ basically gave nine different blessings here. Und Christus hat hier äh, neun verschiedene Segnungen ausgesprochen. And yeah, they were all connected, as we could see, with his own character. Und wie wir sehen konnten, waren sie alle mit seinem eigenen Charakter verknüpft. So if we consider, right, this understanding that when the revelation comes, we will behold the pattern. Also wenn wir dieses Verständnis äh, betrachten, dass wenn die Offenbarung kommt, dann werden wir das Muster betrachten. Uh, this is what we will behold. We behold how Christ is and how we should also therefore be. Okay. Das werden wir anschauen, wie Christus ist und wie wir daher auch sein sollen. And, <coughs> and we saw yesterday, right, we have to be meek. Merciful, pure in heart and peacemakers. Right? Und gestern haben wir das gesehen, wie wir sanftmütig, ähm, barmherzig und rein Herzens und Friedenstifter sein sollen. So all these things, yeah, we, we can hear and agree to them and consent to them. Und all diese Dinge können wir hören und mit übereinstimmen und zustimmen. But here when the revelation comes, this will be really driven home to our conscience as ja. never before. Wenn die Offenbarung kommt, dann wird das wie nie zuvor uns ins Gewissen gerufen werden. Yeah, it will make us realize how far we are actually from uh, following this pattern. Okay. Das wird uns dann zu erkennen geben, wie weit wir von diesem Muster eigentlich entfernt sind. Okay, so but yeah, even though this will be then fully revealed to us here, okay, in this time. Aber obwohl uns das vollständig in dieser Zeit offenbart werden wird. Yeah, what does the Lord always require of us? Was fordert der Herr immer von uns? Um, to to de deal with what we have, right? Also mit dem zu handeln, was wir haben. Yeah, so basically, the amount of light we have now, we are to follow. Okay. Also der Menge des Lichts, die wir jetzt haben, sollen wir folgen. Okay, so therefore he can already convict us in these uh, areas to the degree we can receive them already. Deswegen kann er uns schon überführen in diesen um, ja, Bereichen, um, das vorher uns uh, to the degree we can receive it. Zu dem Ausmaß, wie wir es schon erhalten können. Okay, good. So, um, now let's go and we want to look at <coughs> the verses 10 to 12 this evening. Wir schauen uns Verse 10 bis 12 heute Abend an. But let's begin verse, verse 3 again. Wir fangen nochmal in Vers 3 an. Let's read uh, through down to verse 12. Lesen wir 3 bis 12. It says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And the poor in spirit are who again? Die Arme im Geist sind wer nochmal? Spiritual. Yeah, so those that feel their need, right? Also die Geistlichen haben, die ihre Bedürftigkeit erkennen. Okay, so 
like the, the publican. Right? Wie der Zöllner. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. So who would this be? Wer wäre das? Yeah, those that sigh and cry. Also right? die, die seufzen und klagen. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And this is what we <coughs> looked at yesterday. What is meekness again? Das haben wir uns gestern angeschaut. Was noch mal sanft tun? Always acting correctly in every situation, not being offended. It all, also, it's got many applications. It's also accepting reproof, as well as uh, not retaliating. It's, also, dass man eben in jeder Situation ähm, ruhig bleibt und ähm, nicht äh, zurückschlägt, aber auch, ähm, dass man Tadel annimmt und das hat viele Aspekte. Yes. Okay, du, uh, we looked at uh, to be forbearing under Difficult. injuries and wrongs, right? Wir haben uns das angeschaut, dass man eben ähm, ja, vergebend oder langmütig ist und wenn man verletzt wird oder falsch behandelt wird. And be yeah, mild mannered, okay. And milde manieren hat. Okay, and um, yes, and also then we saw, okay, verse six we didn't look at yesterday, but let's read this also. Vers six haben wir gestern nicht angeschaut, aber wir lesen das auch. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Right. So this is when you cry out to obtain the bread. Importunate prayer. Right? Da rufst du ihm, um das Brot zu erhalten, das ist das aufdringliche Gebet. Um, verse 7. Vers 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And merciful, we saw, it's yeah, being forgiving and not holding things to one another. Also barmherzig zu sein, da haben wir gesehen, das bedeutet vergeben zu sein und nicht gegeneinander Dinge zu geben. Don't have this critical eye. Right? Dass du nicht dieses kritische Auge mm -hmm. hast. But where should you look to? Sondern wo solltest du hinschauen? Uh, to your own beam, right? Auf deinen mind. eigenen Balken. And with the measure you, you or the meat out for others, it will be meted out to you also. Und wie du anderen äh, zumisst, wird dir, dir auch zugemessen werden. The way you want others to treat you, treat them likewise, right? Du möchtest, dass äh, dich andere behandeln, äh, sollst du sie ebenso behandeln. Okay. Verse 8. Vers 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Right, so the purity of heart, what was it referring to? Auf was bezog sich die Reinheit des Herzens? Mut. Excuse me? Der Mut. Yeah, especially your motives and yeah, what you, your desires and plans and all these things. Right? Also deine Motive und deine Wünsche und Pläne und all diese Dinge. Okay. So, in verse 9. Vers 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. So the peacemakers, as yeah, we, we read, we must live with everybody in peace as much as life in your strength. Right? Wir haben über die Friedensstifter gelesen, dass man eben so weit es äh, an uns liegt, sollen wir mit jedem in Frieden leben. And this can only be done how? Und das kann nur wie getan werden? By God's principle. Yes, okay. Also durch Gottes Prinzip. Yes, okay. Und einen vergebenen Geist zu haben. And let's just remind ourselves, keep your finger here, let's go to Hebrews chapter 12. Also halte deinen Finger hier und wir erinnern uns, gehen wir zu Hebräer 12. Vers uh, 14 to 15. Vers 14 bis 15. It says, follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. So here he speaks about to follow peace with all men, right? But you can only do it by... Also hier spricht es, dass du mit allen Menschen Frieden yeah, haben sollst, your, aber das kannst du nur wie tun. Yes, by obtaining the grace, right? Indem du die Gnade erhältst. Because unless you obtain the grace, the root of bitterness will spring up, he says. Weil es sei denn, dass du die Gnade erhältst, sagt er, wird die Wurzel der Bitterkeit aufsprießen. And this will defile many, so you're not in peace with them anymore, but now you 
utter these bitter <coughs> reproaches. Du wirst dich wieder verunreinigen, also bist du nicht mehr Frieden, sondern du wirst dann diese bitteren ähm, Schmähungen aussprechen. Okay, gut. So, das war basically we got. Okay. So weit sind wir gekommen. Now let's read uh, also verse 10. Jetzt lesen wir Matthew 5. in Matthäus 5, Vers 10. It says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so we must be persecuted for what sake? Um, wessen Willen so müssen wir verfolgen? Yeah, for righteousness sake. Okay. Um, der Gerechtigkeit willen. Yeah, many people are persecuted for wrong things. They don't receive the blessing. Okay. Also viele Leute wegen, werden wegen falscher Sachen verfolgt, deswegen halten sie nicht den Segen. Many Christians, or so-called Christians, uh, they, they even get persecuted, let's say, in Muslim countries, right? Sogar viele sogenannte Christen, um, die werden in muslimischen Ländern zum Beispiel verfolgt. And then people think, ah, okay, these are now righteous people, right? Dann denken Leute, das sind die rechte Leute. But uh, even Catholics were persecuted by Protestants, let's say in England, for instance, okay? Aber sogar Katholiken wurden zum Beispiel in England verfolgt. Jehovah's Witnesses are persecuted by Putin in Russia, but yeah. they exactly. Zeugen, uh, die Zeugen Jehovas werden in uh, Russland durch Putin verfolgt, aber das macht sie nicht gerecht. Mm -hmm. What is righteousness? The Bible says all my commandments are righteousness. Die Bibel sagt, was Gerechtigkeit ist, alle meine Gebote sind Gerechtigkeit. Okay, if you follow God's word, then you follow righteousness. Wenn du Gottes Wort befolgst, dann folgst du der Gerechtigkeit. Okay, let's go to John 15, verse 18 to 20, that's also in your notes. Okay, wir zu Johannes 15, Vers 18 bis 20, das ist auch in den Notizen. It says, If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Okay, <clears throat> so here it says, you get persecuted for righteousness sake when you are persecuted like... Also sagt, du wirst hier verfolgt um der Gerechtigkeit wenn wenn du wie wer verfolgt wirst? Like Christ was persecuted. Wie right? Christus verfolgt wurde. And Jesus says, the world hated me and therefore they persecuted me. Right? Und Jesus sagt, die Welt hasste mich, deswegen hat sie mich verfolgt. And in a different scripture, I don't have it, you know, but what does he say? They hated me without a cause. Without a cause. Und okay. Und bei einer anderen Schriftstelle sagt es, sie hassen mich ohne Ursache. And the, the world does, does not mean people that are not attended Seventh-day Adventist churches, it means those that go by worldly principles. Yes. Die Welt bedeutet nicht uh, diejenigen, die nicht zur SDA-Gemeinde gehen, sondern diejenigen, die uh, oder zur SDA, nee, die nicht zur SDA-Gemeinde gehen, sondern diejenigen, die nach weltlichen Prinzipien gehen. Yes, because yeah, this is why it's all the Advent people before the throne, the church and the world. world right? Weil weit hat das Adventvolk vor dem Thron gesehen, die Gemeinde und die Welt. Because who persecuted Jesus back then? Wer hat damals Jesus verfolgt? Yeah, his own people. Sein okay. eigenes Volk. Okay, so therefore this is the world. Okay. Das ist die Welt. And they persecuted him without a cause. Why didn't they have a cause? Und sie haben ihn ohne Ursache verfolgt. Warum hatten sie keine Ursache? Because I kept my father's commandments. Yes. Weil exactly. er hat gesagt, okay. ich habe die Gebote meines Vaters gehalten. So, because he never broke God's law and therefore there was no reason to persecute him. Okay. Er hat nie Gottes Gesetz gebrochen, deswegen gab es nie einen Grund, ihn zu verfolgen. Okay. Now let's go to also to 1 Peter chapter 4. Gehen wir auch zu 1. Petrus 4. Verse 12 to 16. Verse 12 bis 16. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. 
On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. So here Peter explains what it means to suffer for righteousness sake. Er erklärt Petrus, äh, was es bedeutet, um der Gerechtigkeit willen zu leiden. So, unless you suffer as a Christian, you're not fulfilling what Matthew 5 says. Okay? Es sei denn, dass du als Christ leidest, erfüllst du nicht, was Matthäus 5 sagt. Okay, let's go also to Matthew 24. Gehen wir auch zu Matthäus 24. And, I mean, he says, if you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, right? Or as sagt, a busybody. Er sagt ja, wenn du als Mörder oder Dieb oder Übeltäter oder, ähm, was ist busybody? So, so jemand, der halt sich in andere Leute Sachen einmischt. Okay. Ja. Also wenn du als solche leidest, ja, yeah, then, uh, yeah, you, you suffer righteously, okay? Dann, ähm, also, wenn du als solche leidest. Um, Rechterweise. Yeah. So, it's just that you will suffer as such a one. Okay. Ja, dann ist es gerecht, dass du als solcher leidest. Okay. But if you suffer as a Christian, you obviously suffer unjustly and therefore it's glory to God. Aber wenn du als Christ ähm, leidest, dann leidest du auf ungerechte Weise und ähm, dann ist es zur Ehre Gottes. And obviously none of us most likely will be literally Come a murder, okay? Murderer. Von uns wird äh, sehr wahrscheinlich buchstäblich ein Mörder werden. Yeah. But we know the Bible teaches, if you tell your brother Raka and fool and all these things, you're a murder in God's eyes. Okay. Wir wissen, dass die Bibel murderer. uns Sorry. lehrt, äh, wenn man zu seinem Bruder Raka oder du Törichter sagt, äh, dann äh, ja, tötet man seinen Bruder damit. Okay, so therefore this is, we need to understand the spiritual meaning behind it. Deswegen müssen wir die geistliche Bedeutung dahinter verstehen. Okay, let's also go to Matthew 24. Gehen wir auf zu Matthäus 24. Verse 9 to 13. Verse 9 bis 13. It says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay, so where are you delivered up? Wo wirst du ausgeliefert? Yeah, so you begin to be delivered up, and here they want to physically put you to death, right? This is where he said, if they hate me, they will hate you also. Da hat er eben gesagt, wenn sie mich hassen, werden sie euch auch hassen. And it says you must endure until the end to be saved, right? Und sagt, du musst bis zum Ende ausharren, um gerettet zu werden. Meaning, when you're saved, what did you now obtain? Also wenn du gerettet bist, was hast du erhalten? The blessing, right? Den Segen. Okay, so that's what Jesus says. So, Blessed are those that are persecuted for righteousness sake. Und das sagt Jesus ja, gesegnet sind diejenigen, die verfolgt werden um der Gerechtigkeit willen. Okay, it shows us, yeah, that you will be delivered up if you follow the righteousness. Es zeigt uns also, du wirst ausgeliefert werden, wenn du der Gerechtigkeit folgst. Matthew 5. Gehen wir zu Matthäus 5. 43 to 48. Vers 43 bis 48. It says, Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Okay, so, when only will you be de delivered up for righteousness' sake? Wann wirst du nur um der Gerechtigkeit willen ausgeliefert werden? When, when is it that you only will be delivered up for righteousness' sake? Wann nur wirst du um der Gerechtigkeit willen? If you follow what Christ says, right? Wenn du folgst, was Christus sagt. So if you're delivered up and you suddenly say, ah, you, you evil man, I will 
bring it back upon you and all these things. Okay. Wenn du ausgeliefert wirst und du dann sagst ihr bösen Menschen, ich werde das auf euch zurückbringen. Uh, you already broke his commandments, you're not representing him anymore. Okay. Dann hast du schon seine Gebote gebrochen und stellst sie nicht mehr dar. And therefore you're not suffering for righteousness sake anymore and the blessing will not come upon you. Deswegen right? leidest du dann nicht mehr um der Gerechtigkeit willen und der Segen wird nicht auf dich kommen. Okay. So, but you should bless them that hate you and do good uh, and pray for them that persecute you, right? Sondern du solltest diejenigen segnen, die dich hassen und für die beten, die dich verfolgen. Vers 45. Vers 45. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same. And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than others? Do not even the publicans so. But be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Right? So, shows us yeah, that obviously we are perfect when we were born again, right? And then we have to keep this perfect state. Okay. Das zeigt uns, wir sind vollkommen, wenn wir von neuem geboren sind, dann müssen wir diesen vollkommenen Zustand Behalten. Okay, but even though when we now approach our first birth, right, we should strive to obtain this perfection. Okay? Aber, um, obwohl, also auch wenn wir jetzt um, uns erst nähern zu dieser ersten Geburt, dann müssen wir danach streben, diese Perfektion zu erhalten. Yeah, it's just the same with Romans 7 and Romans 8. Yes? Das ist dasselbe wie Römer 7 und Römer 8. What was again the difference between the Romans 7 men and the Romans 8 men in their struggle? Was war nochmal der Unterschied zwischen dem Römer 7 und dem Römer 8 Mensch in ihrem Okay, but one was struggling for uh, to obtain the freedom, right? Der eine hat gerungen oder gekämpft, um die Freiheit zu erlangen. And the other one was struggling to main maintain the freedom, right? Und der andere hat darum gekämpft, diese Freiheit zu behalten. So in our case, yeah, we will be struggling to obtain perfection, okay? Also in unserem Fall, wir werden dafür kämpfen, dass wir unsere Freiheit erhalten. No, to obtain perfection. Ah, yeah, yeah. Dass wir die Perfektion erhalten. Okay, so, and this is how we can then uh, follow after righteousness if we you know, pray and plead to follow these patterns here. Okay? So können wir die Gerechtigkeit erlangen, wenn wir beten und flehen, dass wir diesen Mustern hier folgen. Okay, because this is the pattern, okay? Weil das ist das Muster. And we speak many times, say, okay, you see you now the pattern here and all these things, but this is the pattern. Okay. Wir sprechen ja oft davon, dass du dann das Muster sehen wirst, aber das hier ist das Muster. So you will just see how you should be, but you will also realize that you're not as you should be. Okay. Also du wirst sehen, wie du sein solltest, aber du wirst auch erkennen, dass du nicht so bist, wie du sein solltest. Yeah. But along the way, right, we saw in past studies, yeah, there's a measuring all the way through, right, and then there's a measuring of the temple again here. Right? Das Weges, da haben wir eben gesehen, gibt es ein Messen hier die ganze Zeit, aber es gibt auch noch mal ein Messen hier drin. Yeah. So therefore, the Lord already shows us the pattern here in measure, right? Der Herr zeigt uns also deswegen schon das Muster in Maße. And that's the former rain moderately. Das right? ist der Frühregen in Maßen. Okay. Before it then again comes as the former in the latter. Bevor okay. er dann wieder wieder früh und der Spätregen kommt. Okay, so. Um, and this is what we behold at the moment. Yeah? When we look at these things, we see the pattern already to some degree. Okay? Das sehen wir im Moment. Also wenn wir uns diese Dinge anschauen, sehen wir zum gewissen Maße schon das Muster. Okay, let's go also now to Romans chapter 5. Gehen wir auch zu Römer 5. Verse 6 to 10. Verse 6 bis 10. It says, For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely, or scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for good men some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. So here we see uh, Christ gave the pattern, right? Hier sehen wir, Christus hat das Muster What did he do? Was hat er gemacht? 
uh, died for his enemies, right? Er starb für seine Feinde. So even for those that persecuted him. Sogar okay? für diejenigen, die ihn verfolgt haben. And that's therefore the, the pattern is uh, you are persecuted for righteousness sake only if you are willing now to go to the cross even for your persecutors. Okay? Das Muster ist, dass du um, gerechterweise verfolgt, also verfolgt wirst, wenn du sogar willig bist, um, dann für deine Verfolger zum Kreuz zu gehen. Okay. So all other kind of persecutions is not after the pattern. Okay. Also alle andere Arten von Verfolgung ist nicht gemäß dem Muster. And you will not obtain the blessing. Und du wirst den Segen nicht erhalten. Let's go also to Matthew 5, verse 33 to 37. Gehen wir auch zu Matthäus 5, Vers 33 bis 37. Again, ye have heard that it hath been said by them of old time, thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shall perform unto the Lord thine oaths. But I say unto you, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is the foot, his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king, neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black, but let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Okay, so here Jesus says, so you should not swear, right? Jesus sagt hier, du sollst nicht schwören. Um, make no oath. Okay. Also kein Eid schwören. Okay, but does it also apply to when you're delivered up before the courts? Aber ist es auch anzuwenden, wenn du vor die Gerichtshöfe ausgeliefert wirst? No, right? Nein. Okay. Because let's read what Sister White has to say about this. Lesen wir darüber, was Ellen White dazu zu sagen hat. So as Jesus condemned their practices, declaring that their custom in oath taking was a transgression of the commandment of God. And so they had a custom of oath taking, right? Also sie hatten eine, um, ja, einen Gebrauch, um, dass man ein Eid ablegt. And we know this. I mean, if you had maybe like a Muslim friend in the past. You maybe know this that they use a lot of oaths and say, yeah, by the name of Allah, I swear this and this happened. Okay. Used to do it at school, say, swear my mother's life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't That's do this. this. Also, wenn ihr einen muslimischen Freund vielleicht mal gehabt habt, ähm, die ähm, ja, sie sagen immer solche Eide, ähm, dass sie sagen, ich schwöre bei Allah oder ich schwöre bei der Leben meiner Mutter oder so. Yes. Okay, and this was what Jesus rebuked, okay? Und das hat Jesus getan. This we should not do. Das sollten wir nicht tun. But it says here, our Savior did not, however, forbid the use of the judicial oath, in which God is solemnly called to witness that what is said is truth and nothing but the truth. Okay, so when you stand before the courts, you can swear on the Bible, for instance, or you can swear in the name of God and says what I say is true. Okay. Also wenn du vor dem Gericht stehst, dann kannst du zum Beispiel ähm, bei der Bibel schwören oder bei Gott, äh, weil du dann mit zeigst, dass was du sagst Wahrheit ist. Okay, so and this is when you're delivered up and persecuted for righteousness sake, yeah, this is what we need to understand. Okay. Also wenn du hier ausgeliefert wirst und verfolgt wirst um der Gerechtigkeit willen, das müssen wir eben verstehen. It goes on to say in the court. Sagt weiter ein Zitat. Uh, Jesus himself, at his trial before the Sanhedrin, did not refuse to testify under oath. The high priest said unto him, I adjure thee by the living God, that thou tell us whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus answered, Thou hast said. Had Christ in the Sermon on the Mount condemned the judicial oath, he would at his trial have reproved the high priest, and thus, for the benefit of his followers, have enforced his own teaching. Okay, so even Jesus... Uh, given oath. Okay. Also, sogar Jesus hat einen Eid abgelegt. Next quote. <coughs> Nächstes Zitat. <coughs> Jesus does not present to his followers the hope of attaining earthly glory and riches, and of having a life free from trial, but he presents to them the privilege of walking with their master in the paths of self-denial and reproach, because the world knows them not. Uh, so self-denial and reproach, this is what we... Must endure. Also wir müssen Selbstverleugnung und Schmach ertragen. Next paragraph. Next Absatz. He who came to redeem the lost world was opposed by the united forces of the adversaries of God and man. In an unpitying confederacy, 
What kind of confederacy? Was für einem Pitying. Bündnis? <laughs> Unpitying, okay. Ein unbarmherzigen um, oder un nicht mitleidsvollen Bündnis. So this is what we need to also ex expect that these things will come upon us as well. Okay. Das müssen wir auch erwarten, dass diese Sachen auch über uns kommen werden. So, and therefore we should look at the pattern how Christ dealt with these situations. Okay. Deswegen sollen wir uns das Muster anschauen und sehen, wie Christus mit diesen Situationen umgegangen ist. So it says, in an unpitying confederacy, evil men and evil angels arrayed themselves against the Prince of Peace. Though his every word and act breathed of divine compassion, his unlikeness to the world provoked the bitterest hostility. Because he would not give, uh, because he would give no license for the exercise of the evil passions of our nature, he aroused the fiercest opposition and enmity. So it is with all who will live godly in Christ Jesus. Between righteousness and sin, love and hatred, truth and falsehood, there's an irrepressible conflict. When one presents the love of Christ and the beauty of holiness, he's drawing away the subject of Satan's kingdom, and the prince of evil is aroused to resist it. Persecution and reproach await all who are imbued with the spirit of Christ. The character of the persecution changes with the times, but the principle, the spirit that underlies it, is the same that has slain the chosen of the Lord ever since the days of Abel. As men seek to come into harmony with God, they will find that the offense of the cross has not ceased. Principalities and powers and wicked spirits in high places are arrayed against all who yield obedience to the law of heaven. Therefore, so far from causing grief, persecution should bring joy to the disciples of Christ, for it is an evidence that they are following in the steps of their master. And so, these things, if we know from God's word that we follow after righteousness, it should be just a confirmation, praise God, mm -hmm. <laughs> the Lord is on my side. Okay. Also, wenn wir aus Gottes Wort wissen, dass wir um der Gerechtigkeit willen jetzt äh, leiden müssen, dann sollten wir Gott preisen und wissen, dass wir auf der richtigen Seite sind. There should be a confirmation, yeah, and especially when we come, for instance, here to the equivalent here, the fourth plague, that we are on the right path. Okay. Das sollte für uns eine Bestätigung sein, also hier und auch ähm, hier bei der vierten Plage, was ja das Gleiche ist, dass wir auf dem richtigen Pfad sind. Okay. So. Because it just confirms what is written. Okay. Also es bestätigt nur das, was geschrieben steht. Next paragraph. Nächster Absatz. While the Lord has not promised his people exemption from trials, he has promised that which is far that which is far better. He has said, As thy days, so shall thy strength be. My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Also, no exemption from trials, but always the necessary grace. Right? Also, es gibt keine Verschonung von der, vor der Prüfung, aber immer genug Gnade. If you are called to go through the fiery furnace for his sake, Jesus will be by your side, even as he was with the faithful three in Babylon. Those who love their Redeemer will rejoice at every opportunity of sharing with him humiliation and reproach. The love they bear, <coughs> their Lord makes suffering uh, for his sake sweet. In all ages, Satan has persecuted the people of God. He has tortured them and put them to death. But in dying, they became conquerors. They revealed in their steadfast faith a mightier one than Satan. Satan could torture and kill the body, <clears throat> but he could not touch the life that was hid with Christ in God. <clears throat> he could incarcerate in prison walls, but he could not bind the spirit. They could look beyond the gloom to the glory, saying, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. <clears throat> Though trials and persecution, or through trials and persecution, the glory, character of God is revealed in his chosen ones. The Church of God hated and persecuted by the world, are educated and disciplined in the school of Christ. They walk in narrow paths on earth. They are purified in the furnace of affliction. They follow Christ through sore conflicts. 
They endure self-denial and experience bitter disappointments. But their painful experience teaches them the guilt and woe of sin, and they look upon it with abhorrence. Being partakers of Christ's sufferings, they are destined to be partakers of his glory. And so all these things, uh, what will come upon us, they will just serve the purpose to prepare us for the glory. Right? These things that will come to us, will only be the purpose to be prepared for the glory. So therefore we should always try to view these afflictions from this standpoint. Deswegen sollten wir immer versuchen, diese Bedrängnisse aus diesem Standpunkt her zu betrachten. And also, she says, there will be also bitter disappointments, okay? Sie sagt doch, es wird bittere Enttäuschungen geben. So, and these are also a blessing in disguise for us if we take them as such. Das ist auch ein Segen in Verkleidung sozusagen, wenn wir es als solche annehmen. Okay. Um, so, let's go back to Matthew 5. Gehen wir zurück zu Matthäus 5. So we saw in verse 10, blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness sake. Also in Vers 10 haben wir gesehen, gesegnet sind diejenigen, die um der Gerechtigkeit willen verfolgt werden. But now in verse 11 it says, Aber Vers 11 sagt, Blessed are ye when man shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So now verse 11 speaks about what? Vers 11 spricht über was? Yeah, when they revile you, like slandering and reproach, right? Wenn sie dich schmähen, also wenn man ähm, verlässt, oder wenn über einen gelästert wird und Schmach gehofft wird. So let's go to Mark uh, chapter 15, verse 31 and 32. Gehen wir zu Markus 15, Vers 31 und 32. It says, likewise also the chief priests mocking and said among themselves with the scribes, he saved others. Himself he cannot save. Let Christ, the King of Israel, descend now from the cross, that we may see and believe. And they that were crucified with him reviled him. So Jesus also was reviled, just like you will be reviled. Okay? So, yeah, über Jesus wurde auch gelästert, so wie über dich gelästert werden wird. Okay, so it's just another evidence here. Whatever he said here in the Mount of um, Blessing is what. He experienced himself. Das ist einfach ein weiterer Beweis, was immer er als Segen auf der Bergpredigt verkündet hat, ist eben, also hat er selbst erduldet. Let's go to the next heading. Gehen wir jetzt zur nächsten Überschrift. Das ist unter der Heading Scapegoat. Also der Überschrift Sündenbock. With one accord, Satan and his host, through the blame of their rebellion, holy upon Christ, declaring that if they had not been reproved, They would never have rebelled. Okay, so what did Satan do now in his followers? Was hat jetzt Satan in seine Nachfolger getan? Yeah, so they, they threw back the blame on Christ. Right? Die haben die Schuld auf Christus zurückgeworfen. They said, okay, because you've reproved us, therefore we had a just, justifiable reason to rebel. Die haben gesagt, weil du uns getadelt hast, deswegen haben wir einen recht, gerechtfertigten Grund zu rebellieren. Also they didn't accept any reproof. Sie haben keinen Tadel angenommen. Thus stubborn and defiant in their disloyalty, seeking vainly to overthrow the government of God. So what did they try to do? Was haben sie versucht zu tun? Overthrow the government. Yes, overthrow the government of God. Die okay. Regierung Gottes zu stürzen. Yet blasphemously claiming to be themselves the innocent victims of oppressive power, the arch rebel and all his sympathizers were at last banished from heaven. Um, and this is what happened so many times in the past. Yeah, those that left, they were always said, yeah, we were oppressed and blah. Okay. Und das ist immer dasselbe. Also die Leute, die von hier weggegangen sind, haben immer gesagt, wir wurden unterdrückt und so weiter. And it will never change. It will always be the same until the end of time. Okay. Das wird sich nie verändern. Das wird immer dasselbe sein bis zum Ende der Zeit. Because this very first controversy will just be played out over and over and over again. Okay. Weil diese erste Kontroverse wird einfach immer und immer wieder stattfinden. Yeah. And therefore, uh, Satan will always justify himself, always try to find sympathizers and always cast the blame back on Christ or on those that uphold the truth. Deswegen Satan wird immer sich rechtfertigen und immer versuchen, Sympathisanten zu finden, um uh, die Schuld auf diejenigen zu werfen, die die Wahrheit verkünden. They always make themselves victims and say those 
der, in the government of God, they oppressed us. Okay. Sie machen sich immer zum Opfer und sagen, die, die in der Regierung äh, sind, Gottes sind, die haben uns unterdrückt. Okay, and with this, they gain sympathizers and then they rebel and they go. Okay. Und dadurch erhalten sie Sympathisanten und ähm, dann rebellieren sie und gehen. So it has been happening in this movement so many times now. Okay. In dieser Bewegung ist das so oft passiert. Okay, and it will continue happening. Okay. Und das wird noch weiter passieren. Until yeah, the end of time. Okay. Bis zum Ende der Zeit. Okay, so let's continue. Lesen wir weiter. Next quote. Nächstes Zitat. And then the great deceiver will persuade men that those who serve God are causing these evils. The class that have provoked the displeasure of heaven will charge all their troubles upon those whose obedience to God's commandments is a perpetual proof to transgressors. So what will they do to God's true people? Was werden sie mit Gottes wahrem Volk tun? Put the blame on them. Yeah, they, exactly. They say, you're the cause for my troubles. Okay? Also sie werden... Um, Sagen, du bist das, äh, die Ursache für meine Probleme. Yeah. I have now this problem here, but it's your fault that I'm in this problem. Okay. Ich habe diese Probleme, weil es ist deine Schuld, dass ich jetzt diese Probleme habe. Yeah. But is it true? No. Those they, they just followed God's commandments. Okay. Aber stimmt das? Nein, sie haben nur Gottes Geboten gefolgt. And the trouble was because they of their own unfaithfulness mm -hmm. to God. Okay. Also diese Probleme waren wegen ihrer eigenen Untreue zu Gott. Okay, so therefore, this will also repeat over and over again. Das wird sich deshalb immer und immer wieder wiederholen. Next uh, quote. Nächstes Zitat. Ever since his fall, Satan has worked by means of deception. As he has misrepresented God, so through his agents, he misrepresents the children of God. Yeah, so this is how he works through agents, right? So wirkt er durch Agenten. The Savior says, the reproaches of them that reproached thee are fallen upon me. In like manner, they fall upon his disciples. There was never one who walked among men more cruelly slandered than the Son of Man. He was derided and mocked because of his unswearing obedience to the principles of God's holy law. So if you follow closely God's principles, what will happen to you? Also, wenn du ganz ähm, nahe Gottes Prinzipien folgst, was wird mit dir passieren? It will be slandered, right? Du wirst verleumdet werden. Okay. Yeah. They hated him without a cause, okay? Sie hassen ihn ohne Grund. Yet he stood calmly before his enemies, declaring that reproach is a part of the Christian's legacy, counseling his followers how to meet the errors of malice, Bidding them not to faint under persecution. Okay, so for us, yeah, we're still very faulty, therefore, there are some causes maybe that people can bring forth to hate us. Okay. Also, wir sind noch sehr fehlerhaft, deswegen mag es Gründe geben, die Leute hervorbringen, äh, um, äh, um uns zu hassen. Yeah, but still, if those that hate us are claiming to follow the present truth, ja, yeah, for instance, okay. Aber wenn diejenigen, die uns hassen, behaupten, dass sie der gegenwärtigen Wahrheit folgen, yeah. they have no justification. Okay. Dann haben sie keine Rechtfertigung. And I say us now, not us here is a, a ministry or yeah, I just say if there would be people in this movement hating other people in the movement, okay. Also ich meine mit uns jetzt nicht unbedingt hier von der Ministry, sondern wenn es also einfach Leute von der Bewegung gäbe, die andere Leute in der Bewegung hassen würden. Yeah. There's no justification, even though they might give you some reason to hate them. Okay. Es gibt keine Rechtfertigung, auch wenn sie irgendwelche Gründe angeben würden, um sie zu hassen. So, and that, that's what we need to learn, right? So, uh, we are faulty, we give causes for hatred, but at the same time we need to learn to forgive. Und das müssen wir lernen. Also wir sind fehlerhaft und mögen Gründe äh, geben, dass äh, man uns hasst, aber wir müssen lernen zu vergeben. Okay, let's go to the next paragraph. Gehen wir zum nächsten Absatz. While slander may blacken the reputation, it cannot stain the character. That is in God's keeping. So long as we do not consent to sin, there is no power, whether human or satanic, that can bring a stain upon the soul. Also what they only can mar your reputation, that's all. Okay? A man 
whose heart is stayed upon God is just the same in the hour of his most afflicting trials and most discouraging surroundings as when he was in prosperity, when the light and favor of God seemed to be upon him. And this is what we need to remember. So, yeah, it's so important. Okay. It's so wichtig, dass wir uns daran erinnern. Yeah, because here we know it feels like God hit his face, right? Weil hier wissen wir, wie das sich so anfühlt, als hätte Gott sein Angesicht verborgen. Yes. And sometimes I think you also experience this. Sometimes you have these days where you think, what is now happening? Yeah, people forsaken of God. Okay. Und manchmal ähm, haben wir solche Tage, wo wir dann denken, was ist passiert? Wir fühlen uns von Gott verlassen. But that's just a preparation for what is coming. Okay. Das ist aber nur eine Vorbereitung <coughs> auf das, was kommt. That we need to learn to walk by faith and not by feeling. Da müssen wir lernen, aus Glauben und nicht aus Gefühl zu wandeln. It says, his words, his motives, his actions may be misrepresented and falsified, but he does not mind it, because he has greater interests at stake. Uh, greater interests at stake. Like Moses, he endures as seeing him who is invisible, looking not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. Yes, we need to always look at the great responsibility that lies upon us. Wir müssen uns immer auf diese große Verantwortung schauen, die auf uns liegt. Christ is acquainted with all that is misunderstood and misrepresented by man. His children can afford to wait in calm patience and trust, no matter how much maligned and despised. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. And those who honor God shall be honored by him in the presence of man and angels. This is faith, right? Das ist Glaube. When we trust that he sits still on the throne even though it's dark around us. Wenn wir vertrauen, dass er immer noch auf dem Thron sitzt, obwohl es um uns herum dunkel ist. Okay. Mm. Okay, so let's go now to Matthew 7 to last few thoughts. Gehen wir zu Matthäus 7, die letzten paar Gedanken. I don't remember why I wrote that the sum of the matter, but let's go to Matthew 7, verse 15. Gehen wir zu Matthäus 7, Vers 15. It says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and is cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Now let's go also to Matthew 7, 21 to 23. Gehen wir zu Matthäus 7, Vers 21 bis 23. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Okay, now I remember why I put this there. Okay, so here we see which class illustrated? Here sehen wir welche Klasse dargestellt. Yeah, the foolish, right? Die Türichten Jungen. Okay, say Lord, Lord, right? Die sagen Herr, Herr. Okay, and what, why are they foolish here? Warum sind sie Türicht? Didn't do their will. Yeah, they just say Lord, Lord, right? Die sagen nur Herr, Herr. But they did not the will of the Father, it says. Aber sie haben nicht den Willen des Vaters getan. Okay. So, yes, and the next verses, right? So we can see it was just... Here's one rundown yeah, from verse 15 down to verse 27. He lays out, out these thoughts. Okay. We can see from verse 15 to verse 27 is einfach eine Erzählung. Er legt diese Gedanken da. Because now he explains why they are foolish. Okay. In the next verses. In the next verses, he explains why they are foolish. Verse 24. Verse 24. Says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, 
and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon a sand, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And this was now the end of the Sermon of the, on the Mount, right? Das war das Ende der Bergpredigt. Okay, so therefore what does he say? How many classes will be at the end of it? Deswegen, was sagt er? Wie viele Klassen werden am Ende sein? Two classes. Zwei Klassen. Okay, and these two classes will be dependent on what? Diese zwei Klassen werden abhängig von was sein? Sand or rock. Okay, yes, and when do you build on sand or on rock? Ob sie auf dem Sand oder auf dem Felsen gebaut wurden. Oh, the, the, the rock is the, the word and the sand is man's thoughts and ideas. Yes. Der Felsen ist das Wort und der Sand menschliche Ideen no. und Theorien. He says here, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth, and doeth them. Right? Und er sagte, jeder, der meine Worte hört und sie tut. Or heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them. Not. Oder okay. diese Worte von mir hört, aber sie nicht tut. And what are these sayings that he's referring to? Und was sind diese Worte, auf die er sich bezieht? The parables. Yes, but he is referring especially about the Sermon on the Mount. Yeah? Because that's the conclusion of the Sermon on the Mount, what also he says. Also, okay. besonders bezieht er sich eben auf die Bergpredigt, weil das ist ja hier die Schlussfolgerung da. And obviously the Sermon of the Mount, on the Mount is the whole Bible, okay? Und die äh, Bergpredigt ist natürlich die ganze Bibel. Okay, so therefore it shows us Unless you follow the pattern here on the Sermon of the Mount, yeah, you will become this this foolish uh, virgin. Okay. Also es zeigt uns, dass sei denn, dass wir die Bergpredigt folgen, ähm, werden wir eine törichte Jungfrau werden. And he clearly showed the foolish virgins are these false prophets. Okay. Und er zeigt uns klar, diese törichten Jungfrauen sind die falschen Propheten. Okay. So, and therefore he already tells us, yeah, when we want to obtain the blessing, we first have to go through all these. Trials, okay, they will persecute you, revile you. Deswegen sagt er uns, bevor wir den Segen erhalten können, müssen wir durch diese ganzen Prüfungen gehen. Sie werden uns verfolgen und verschmähen. Yeah, but there will be these two classes: the one that will follow the pattern, okay. Es wird diese zwei Klassen geben. Die einen werden dem Muster folgen. And then they will obtain the blessing. Dann werden sie den Segen erhalten. And the other class, they, they, they will be these foolish. They, they, they heard these words, but they will not do them, and therefore they will fulfill. Or the wicked part of these parables. Okay. Die ungerecht oder die andere Klasse, das sind die Törichten, weil sie haben die Worte nicht befolgt. Deswegen werden sie den bösen Teil dieser äh, Worte erfüllen. They will be the ones persecuting you. Okay. Sie, sind, sie werden diejenigen sein, die dich verfolgen. They will be the ones slandering you. Okay. Sie sind diejenigen, die dich verschmähen werden. Okay, so therefore, yeah, these things that we study. Uh, it's not just uh, nice information. This is the pattern, okay? Also die Dinge, die wir hier studieren, das ist nicht einfach eine schöne Information, sondern das ist das Muster. And the Lord gives us all for all these different situations that we are having in this movement. It's a training ground to look to the pattern and try to apply the pattern. Und right? durch all die Situationen, die wir in der Bewegung haben, ist das ein Trainingsboden für uns, dass wir uns das Muster anschauen und ihm folgen. He shows us the cracks. Yes. Exactly. Ja, die, die, ja, also die Brüche noch in unserem Charakter sozusagen. Okay. Er zeigt uns die Brüche in unserem Charakter, wo wir noch äh, das einbauen müssen. Okay, so whenever we hear something, you can be sure the Lord will bring a situation about where we now need to apply what you heard. Okay. Na, wenn wir was hören, können wir sicher sein, dass der Herr eine Situation bringen wird, wo wir das auch anwenden. Müssen, was wir gehört haben. You can either be the one recognizing this and being one of the wise, or you are hearing but not doing it. Okay. Dann kannst du ähm, also das erkennen und dann die, äh, zu den Weisen gehören, oder du wirst es hören, wenn du es tust, oder du wirst es hören und nicht, und dann bist du die Tür richten. Amen. Amen. Okay. Good. So, let's take these thoughts. Lass uns diese Gedanken mitnehmen. And know that there's a cross. For each one of us. Dass wir wissen, dass es für jeden Einzelnen von uns ein Kreuz gibt. And we just should take courage from it and walk after Christ in the footsteps. Wir sollten einfach Mut daraus fassen und in Christi Fußstapfen wandeln. And he promised us the blessing at the end. Und er hat uns am Ende den Segen verheißen. Amen. Amen. Okay, then let's close with prayer. Dann lass uns mit dem Gebet abschließen.